Okay, supposed to be looking for a red and white pylon. It's a rabbit, guys. Whatever. Let's let's go inside and uh Okay, where's uh, Alexander? Oh, there you are. So look for a big red and white pylon. Been here in a very long time. I was reading that uh, someone was saying that they're having problems finding it, but uh, I didn't want to spoil too much, so I didn't read the full post. Now yeah, I'm thinking I might need to go back and read that full post. That's where the cryo rooms are. Pretty sure this is just the vanilla terminal. Cryo life support pro pods, blah blah blah, yep. Okay, we'll be back in a minute. <laughs> it's not inside the vault. It's outside the vault. It's actually the guy that we were avoiding talking to.
was that? Where was that? That was uh, northwest. Kind of this way. So, what the mod author should have done here is uh, not have him actually spawn in till after you go talk to the dog the second time, and then also um, give us a little uh, quest marker, because saying that it's at uh, Vault 111, everyone's going to be going back to the vault and looking around the outside and the immediate area, um, stuff like that. So, yeah. I know who you are. I've been watching. You have come this far for the truth, so it's about time you get it. I know you must have questions, and they will be answered. I am Alexander, the real Alexander. You might notice I am a simp. I will explain this for you. Alexander, the, the Alexander you met under the bridge has been programmed to believe he's a Soviet spy. He is what I was essentially in the past. In a way, he's a time capsule of myself. I was created by the Institute along with the second Alexander as they wanted to try and use my skills. Myself was given free will and was made up fully aware of what was going on, while the second Alexander was told he was a spy. You see the difference? This is why he thinks he's a spy. I managed to escape and brought the second Alexander with me. This is where you come in. I am being hunted as we speak. I need to take out an Institute strike team. Who all knew about this? What about Pedensky? So, what about the information on the terminal? Uh, let's ask about Pedensky. What about Pedensky? He is also a simp. He was specially made as a goal to make Della Alexander really believe he was a spy. That was supposed to be his problem. Pedensky was programmed to believe that the fake truth that I set up was, in fact, the actual truth. It was another way to make sure the other Alexander never expected anything. Hey guys. Just annoying, aren't you guys? Okay. So where's the strike team? I know who you are. I've been watching. Uh... So what about all that information on the terminal? It was somewhat true. The stuff about my past, the war, etc. was all true. The creation of him was all false. I made all of that up as a way to make sure Alexander would never find out the truth. It was to trick him, more or less. If it ever came to it, he would never expect the actual truth. I don't know how he would react, so it's better to be on the safe side. Okay. Did we get a quest? We did not get a quest. I know who you are. I've been watching. Okay, okay. Um, <sighs> who all knew about, about, about this? this? Who was in Carlisle knew? After they quit the full detective thing, they moved here. When I escaped, I stumbled across Coopers and Carlisle having a dance-off. That was the start of our friendship. Okay. So... Do we have to go back to Salem? Or, uh... Oh my... Oh, God! More rats.
wants me to stop a strike team. Institute strike team. Okay, we'll be back. I know who you are. I've been watching. You have come this far. Okay, I'm just really out of it today. <laughs> uh, I'm on it. You can count on me. I'm on it. You can count on me. Good. Thank you, my friend. There we go. Fairly clear, other than maybe a few uh, more rats. Okay. I'm happier than a tornado. And it is super, super dark. Uh, so we are going to wait a little bit till uh, daylight. Like the fighting's already started. And that sounds like a lot of fighting. <laughs> that is a lot of. Oh boy. Oh wow. Okay, so that was a a fight. <laughs> uh, man, good thing that I had my crew with me. Wish there was a map marker there, like a fast travel one. Okay, and now we've got thunder and rain. And chirping birds. Interesting. Ha <laughs> 
<laughs> one option. It's done. Thank you, my friend. I hope I answered your questions. Here, take this as payment. Okay. So, uh... Pretty sure that's the end of the, uh, quest. Um... Interesting little quest, uh... Oh, come on, really, people? It was fun. I mean, uh, a few points I got really, really stuck in. Um, other than that, uh, good voice acting. Um, really nice levels on the voice acting. I doubt that I'm going to have to do any uh, post stuff on that. Um, hey. Um, hey, you got a sec? What do you need? Uh, probably not gonna... I don't need anything. As you were, comrade. <laughs> probably not gonna keep him around much, uh, just... With the um, automatron, you can make your own robots, and... And he wasn't really saying anything during combat. Um, so yeah. That was the, uh... Pravada... Uh, yeast Pravada, whatever. <laughs> something, uh, Russian, or something. So yeah, I will talk to you guys later. <laughs>